race is 4,900 kilometers and it starts in the Northern Cape through to Botswana and then back in Kimberley. Speak to us about what is going to happen today again for some of our viewers who've only just woken up and are seeing this interview for the first time. Good morning once again, Lebo. Uh, this moment, uh, the backers have now left uh, for Botswana. They uh, will be passing towns in the Northern Cape, uh, in the Namakwa land, and uh, they will be coming back to Kimberley after five days. Speak to us about uh, the participants of this rally. Who is taking part? Uh, we heard there's about 87 uh, participants of this. Speak to us a little bit more about that. Okay, this event is actually a partnership between the Northern Cape government and Botswana. They came on board to sponsor the event, uh, which has been organized by the Amageza Rally. And uh, as it is now, um, I have with me uh, the, the, uh, the Department of Tourism, who's going to tell us more about the event. Good morning, how are you? Good morning uh, to our viewers out there. Um, it's a very, very pleasant morning in Kimberley, cloudy and lovely weather. Uh, the name is Colin Fortune, I'm the chairperson of the Northern Cape Tourism Authority and um, we are partners in this uh, project with the Amageza Rally. Okay, now as a department, can you please just in short explain how much has been pumped into this event? How, how is it benefiting the people of the Northern Cape? We are not pumping that much money into it, but our personnel and our support, opening doors uh, throughout the Northern Cape, that is where we are really helping. We support the team, we help them where we can, we set up meetings, we set up camps, we've arranged with the very friendly people of the Northern Cape to uh, welcome this uh, uh, group of 85 riders uh, to our province and uh, it is truly a fantastic rally that is taking place. Now uh, in terms of the economic spin-offs for the Northern Cape, uh, as I understand that uh, on the way to Botswana they'll be settling in towns in the Namaka land. Uh, how is that going to benefit uh, the, the, the local people? First of all what is going to happen is that the group will be spending money they will be spending money in these small towns by purchasing produce and whatever they need, uh, being basically food. Uh, the teams are well uh, organized with equipment and spare parts, and they will be spending money on petrol. But the longer term thing is that um, we are looking at this becoming an annual event. We are looking at this becoming a bigger event, and the more people that comes in, the more people will be staying in our province. And uh, I think this is a brilliant idea for our province to buy into this product. It is a fantastic uh, product. It is something that will grow. It must grow. It started in 2011 with 21 bikes. It's gone up to 85 bikes. So it is really uh, moving in leaps and bounds. So uh, I can just see this thing growing and becoming a much bigger uh, spin-off for this province and uh, we need to buy into it and our partners Botswana uh, I think they really uh, are, are fantastic as well because we are sharing everything with them as well so it's it's South African uh, product but it's crossing over borders now and uh, the Botswana government how have they welcomed this event well my dealings with the team from Botswana to Botswana tourism they are as enthusiastic about it as much as what we are and uh, they see the potential just as much as what we are seeing it happening for us so yeah we are neighbors and we must share we must share it's definitely something that must happen thank you um well uh, uh, that was uh, mr colin fortune of the department of tourism explaining about the amageza at this stage uh, the backers have left kimberley they are now on the way to botswana uh, where they are going to stay uh, for uh, they are coming back next week saturday uh with that uh, back to the studio